So, you know, the Gold Coast, very dynamic, lots of new development, mm -hmm. lots of new infrastructure. Um, remind us of what has actually happened here in the past in terms of extreme weather events. Well, the Gold Coast, um, interestingly, for the last 30 years, hasn't had a big event, but prior to that, in periods roughly 20 to 30 years apart, we have sequences of storms, and some of these are massive. Mm -hmm. And uh, the really big one that most people remember, if they're old enough, is one in 1967. But in fact, it was a series of storms, but it was so bad that there was just massive erosion all the way along the Gulf Coast, and uh, uh, the army was called out. Do, do you think the community actually understands the risks and the exposure to this kind of extreme weather? Not at all. I mean, if you look at do a, a typical survey of the Gold Coast residents, most of them have only been here for five to ten years. Right. They simply haven't lived through what can happen. The big thing with climate change that most people understand is sea level rise. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is that we've had sea level rise for centuries. Yeah. It's now accelerating. Mm -hmm. If the water level goes up, that means more of our land-based activities get exposed. But if you add on top of that the projection of more intense and uh, less frequent but more intense storms, mm -hmm we're going to have significantly more damage. Uh, a typical householder now, say, living near the broad water, mm -hmm. the worst case scenario at the moment might be that at high tide, during a storm, the water level will go up to a level which might just be lapping at the, at the front of their property. Yep. Under the scenarios under climate change, with sea level rising, with that storm surge added to it, mm -hmm. and maybe a bit bigger because the storm's a bit bigger, that water might go into their property two or three hundred times a year just simply because of the change in, in the, the mean level that we get sea level rise. The, the, the main reason uh, we're concerned about extreme events on the Gold Coast is that cyclones tracking down from North Queensland, where they're generated, are the ones that the storms that create the damage on the Gold Coast. The, and they sort of usually follow the coast down and then they veer off to the coast. The worst case scenario is if a cyclone tracks down into the top of Moreton Bay. Mm -hmm. And the nature of the bay, a shallow water environment, the water level will build up and up and up and quite a serious surge will develop within Moreton Bay right. and effectively the water will rush down through the broad water and ascends back out to sea. Now this could be uh, perhaps four metres of, of storm surge wow. on top of high tide perhaps. Right. You know. That's what's really scary because all of that low-lying land in the broad water would then be inundated.